guys what's up <laughs> how you doing welcome back to victor and franca i'm sure today you're surprised i'm here alone <laughs> i know you love both of us but um sometimes we want to do it alone and see how it will go franca is not in the building so she asked me to do this alone So you remember Inshara goes to school at um, the youngsters, right? And um, one of you, family member, <laughs> um, we, we, we met yesterday. Uh, we had a very good conversation. And one of the things you ask that you want us to do a video on, I wish Franca was here, but um, she's not. And I mean, once she asked me to do it, I decided to do it. I'm sure there are other questions that she will answer herself to. But the question you asked me was, what made me marry a single parent? Or what many will call born one? And that, that is, I think, I think naming people as born one is very insulting. That's one of the things. Single parent is nobody's fault they ended up becoming single parent. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault they have a child before they enter into a marriage. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault because nobody is to be blamed. Not love, not the individual. The only thing that can be blamed is one person who has decided not to take responsibility not to take responsibility based on fear or thinking he or she is incapable capable of taking care of the person and the child that comes with a long love that you have with the person i wouldn't entirely say something made me marry her because truly uh, she was first she was she was she was first the person that i fell in love with uh, the child was there she literally i don't know if you can get this but i saw them when i say i saw them i mean i saw them with the eye of love literally i didn't think about my incapabilities i didn't think about whether i will be able to take care of them or not i didn't think about whether i'll be able to feed them or fend for them or not i honestly didn't think about that like god knows my heart everything i'm saying right now i'm saying it deep down from deep down so i didn't think about that I didn't think about the responsibilities that comes with all i did was i was ready like <laughs> whatever come should come like i'm in for it i'm in for it so nothing made me to to marry her because she was a single parent it wasn't out of pity it wasn't out of uh, m me myself my inability to find a girl it wasn't out of that not that either i believe that once peace settled in my heart for franca it settled in my heart for her and everything she is she was and she stands for <sighs> imagine you haven't had some life and you have met somebody who had had some life and you want to be with if it is not god nobody else nothing else if it is not god's love nothing else nobody else in essence there are many men out there who are few like me who wants to marry you, but who wants to be with you but you're not making room for them so nothing made me to marry her even though she had a child already um, if i should say something made me or someone made me i would say 
God did. God did. I'll say God did because we are all not perfect. We are not perfect. None of us is. I'm not, you are not. <laughs> and if I would say I would not be with her whilst my heart says be with her because she had a child already, uh, then how different am I? Um, literally the good thing that helped us was from the onset from the very first day we started talking I don't know what made her even tell me that in the first place but from the very first time we started talking second day third day I asked her to come and visit me but before she came she told me she had a girl she had a child I'm like okay <laughs> what can I do? Like, there's nothing I can do about it. You have a child and so <laughs> Like, should I take you or not take you because of that? Literally, I am not afraid. That's the point. I am not afraid of what will come. It is... It is God who is taking care of us. And if I'm going to get you and a child come along, then it is God who will take care of us, not me. Not me because it is not by my strength, it is not by my power, it is not by my will. Literally, physically, if you look at me, I've got nothing. <laughs> the only thing I have is God. And that was what helped me. That's what helped me. So, if you're a man, you are watching this and you probably are with a woman that has a child already or even you the man so think about it if you the man you already have a child and you are meeting this woman who doesn't have a child and you are saying because she has a child you wouldn't want to be with her uh, wh wh what is you or who are you or wh what was the difference literally I'm not saying this to mean anything but all I'm saying is that let God be your source and guide that would help and then also don't survive in this earth or in this life you're living live just live be free be free of pain be free of hurt be free of fear that, that's like the underlining thing i believe so all right guys thank you so much for watching um I'm sure I've put my heart out to you. <laughs> if you like this, please share with your friends. Tell someone about this channel. And um, let's grow together. Me, I love you.